Okay, so we're doing a titration. We're trying to figure out the concentration of a solution, in this case, nitric acid. And we're adding sodium hydroxide to it uh, to try to figure out where the reaction ends. And usually we determine the end point of a reaction with a color change. Okay, so we've been given some data. We uh, are given this table that has titration data. So we get initial volume and final volume. And we use that to get the actual volume added is what we care about. So the volume added is the difference. So in trial one, it was 15.4, then 14.9, and then 14.8. Now, because the uncertainty on these volumes is 0.1 cm cubed, you really need your trials to be within 0.1 cm cubed of each other. And so this first trial is a half cm cubed away. Um, this first trial is often kind of a throwaway. We, it's useful, we do it to help narrow in on the endpoint, but often because it's our first trial and we don't know when the color is going to change, it's usually the most inaccurate. So I'm actually not going to use this one in my calculations. And what I will use is trial two and three, and I'll average those. So I've just done question A, determine the volume of NaOH added in each. And then part B is what volume should I actually use in my calculations? Well, I would average trials two and three, which gets me 14.85 cm cubed. Now, the uncertainty on my volume was 0.1. So if I carry that forward, then I actually need to round uh, this volume off to 14.9 cm cubed plus or minus 0.1. One. So if I'm going to match my uncertainty, then I would use 14.9 as the actual volume. Okay, now it says use that volume to calculate the concentration of nitric acid. Well, that's really, it's this is a three-step stoichiometry question. If I'm going to get concentration, I need moles and I need volume. I know the volume of nitric acid. I was given it uh, at the start of the question. That was measured out as 20 cm cubed or 0 0.020 dm cubed. So I know the volume, I don't know the moles yet. Uh, the second step of our stoichiometry questions is usually a mole ratio step. And so my first step is usually converting into moles. Okay, well the only thing I know enough about to get moles is this uh, NaOH that I've been adding. In titration we're usually using N equals CV. The concentration is 0.5 moles per dm cubed. That was given. And the volume is from our data, is 14.9 cm cubed, which in dm cubed is 0 0.0149. So if I do 0 0.5 times 0 0.0149, I get the moles, which is 0 0.00745 moles. And that's the moles of the NaOH. In this uh, question, we have a 1 to 1 mole ratio, so 0 0.00745 moles of NaOH means that there must have been 0 0.00745 moles of HNO3. Again, I know that because of the chemical equation, 1 nitric acid, 1 NaOH. And now I've got the moles I need, so I'm going to take my 0 0.00745 uh, moles of HNO3, the volume that that moles was in was the 0 0.0200 dm cubed that I measured initially. And if I do that division, I get that the concentration of this nitric acid is 0 0.3725, rounded off 0 0.37 moles per dm cubed. Now if I'm going to do the uncertainty, I would need to take uh, each uncertainty, convert it to percents, and add them up. Uh, I've got uncertainty on the volume of the NaOH, and I've got uncertainty on the volume of the nitric acid. I don't have any uncertainty on the concentration of the NaOH, so I'm going to assume that that's negligible. And so I take my 0.1 cm cubed out of 14.9, for the NaOH, and I take the 0.5 out of the 20, and I get each one of those as a percent. So this one is 0.7% uncertainty. This one is 2.5% uncertainty. 
So in total, I have 3.2% uncertainty. And so if I want to convert that back to an absolute uncertainty, I multiply it by my concentration, and I get uh, plus or minus 0 0.0118. I would round that to one digit, which is in the hundredth place, and that matches where my concentration is. So final, final, final answer with uncertainty is that the concentration of the nitric acid is 0.37 plus or minus 0.02 moles per dm cubed.